Hey guys, it is the time that I wait for all of you. And the reason that I want to come to you guys with this video today is because I have a, um, a passion for um, one week of the season. And this dates back, this started back um, when I was guiding full time in Illinois. And um, it's a time of the year that I've always um, you know, been successful in the past had clients on um, more deer, um, more mature deer at this uh, this week window that we're coming up to more than I've had um, any success through the rest of the season. So it's a time of the year that I have, it's a week of the year that I have um, learned to love. And the dates that I'm referring to are the, uh, is the 27th of October, through the 31st, that five-day window. Um, this is now 20 years of, of this. Um, it's kind of I'm starting to date myself here, but um, it is a, a week that I feel very passionate about. So going into the upcoming week, um, the 27th here tomorrow and through the 31st, what I want to stress, guys, is I know everybody, um, you know, works for the weekend, you know, there's videos out there about the, you know, the strategy of the weekend warrior. And I think that if, if there's a window of opportunity, whether that's with an outfitter or with yourself, public ground or private ground, this week's uh, window coming up is a perfect time to, to um, counter on those, hopefully those um, daylight pictures that you're getting. And um, the, the, the thing, the perfect situation right now is, and um, and I know taking all the spectrums of all the different properties that everybody hunts around the you know not only Michigan but in in the Midwest is the you know the the productivity of your farm should start showing if your habitat is correct or if you're in the right area like on public ground where the habitat is the best that public ground can offer what your what the spot that you want to be in you should be seeing your ramp in your buck your mature buck numbers now if these are um, some of the parcels that we've worked on and you're one of those clients that we are watching that we've we've helped with um, this week we've had three three of the clients that we worked with that last this summer have sent in pictures and calling with stories about their mature buck numbers are ramping up and um, things are are happening so what that tells us is the habitat is correct if you're on public ground and that's not happening because of the October law was forced by some other um, things that you didn't do, hopefully, and it was caused by other um, hunters hunting that same area, it's the what's right now is the opportunity to move those stands. And I know that's uh, you know you you will work all summer, hang these stands, and things just aren't happening through that October law. Let that farm or that that stand that area set until start recovering about the uh, October 20th is, is the day that I like to use. And then you have that seven day window between the 20th and the 27th for that stand to prove itself. If that stand doesn't start showing the mature buck numbers that were there before and the new bucks that are hopefully that are in your area that you're gaining pictures of, if them bucks don't, if that stand doesn't start producing, them cameras don't start showing that you've got that movement back, that's the time to move the stand. So where does that tie into this whole video? What this video is about it's about using lures and um, the right lures at the right time to help you um, to help you be successful on that either the stand that is starting to produce again or that new set that you've moved to because you've had to put some boots on the ground, had to study those aerials, had to get away from some people that you know may have um, caused that or boogered that up for you on public ground or your private ground where you're just you're just 100 yards outside of that window. Things have changed. That uh, the corn has gone. Um, you know that green to grain window has has changed. Now everything is going. You know is uh, that frost that we've had the last couple of days has really changed things. And you need to move that window. Don't don't move too early, but take into consideration that it's you, it's still okay to move. So so do that move. Get in that spot. And if you if you are um, using some of these uh, licking branches that we that you've seen us use, um, take the licking branch with you. And I know that's um, it's hard to, hard to do that area, hard to leave that area. But take the licking branch down, 
or, or create another scrape where you're going. Take the licking branch down, move it. Don't touch the bottom of it. The, you know, the object doesn't have all that scent on that thing, remember, so don't touch it. Touch the top. Be very cautious if you're going to spray it because of you, you think you've touched it. Don't spray the bottom of it. Leave that deer scent on it. So move it to where you're going. In other words, when you get there, what's the strategy? The answer is, is that's when the lures and your scent start coming into, into play. And this, uh, this gel from Nature's Best Whitetails here in Michigan is, um, is key for us right now. And so we're using that. So move that, move that set, get that set done, get your shooting lanes done, get that, that, get that scrape. Um, or that vertical looking branch moved and start using the, um, the power of doe urine. What I see is too many guys, too many hunters in general, are using estrus, doe estrus, way too early, way too much. What the, what the idea is that you're trying to pinpoint on is keep in mind that a doe is in estrus for 24 to 48 hours. That is the window of opportunity that she has has to, to uh, be bred. So the peak of the rut here in our area, it never changes. It's about the, I believe it's about the 13th of November, 12th or 13th of November. And that that window, that is when most of the does, the peak of the rut. So we're hunting the pre-rut. So what you wanna do is you wanna study the weather. You know that there's a, a good front coming in, like we're gonna be um, hunting um, two great stands coming up on Wednesday. And the weather's right for those. I have the perfect winds. We've got uh, um, a northeast wind stand that we're going to be in. And I've got a north-northwest stand that we're going to be in on Wednesday because of the front coming in on Thursday and Friday. And it's it's perfect. So what I'm saying is take that, take look in the future, take that window, and know that 24, 48-hour opportunity. Then what you do is you get in there 24 hours before, 24 to 48 hours before, and you start implementing your estrus. That's, I use this estrus as a, any estrus as a tool, as a weapon. And when I say that is you can use this in your arsenal, but you have to use it at the right time and the right amount. So what I do is, what I'm going to be doing is, what I recommend is you, if you know you're going to be on that set and it's perfect, it's that rut stand that you've created, that pre-rut stand that you haven't been in yet, or a new stand that you've moved, use you know use the cameras make sure that you that you know what's what's there and when they're coming in there and then use the estrus 24 to 48 hours before get that scrape get that buck that you've been watching or you're chasing or you're moving in on get him to commit to try to promote his daylight movement and you, you can't kill him when it's dark in the morning you can't kill him dark at night so you have to create that um, illusion that um, that that doe is an estrus in that window if you you make the mistake of overusing estrus, you know, what's going to happen is, is you're going to find that that buck is going to come into that and he's going to keep coming in, he's going to keep coming in, he's going to, he's going to still use his daylight or his dark um, movements, um, his nocturnal, um, his nocturnal movements. There's no reason for him to try to come and check that scrape because he, it's just, uh, it's, it's there all the time. And to me, it's overused and they then they start wandering so then you start you're creating your you're making the uh, the chase or the cruising time of the rut um, sooner and right now you want that they're they're on their feet they're chasing you want they're they're active and that's what makes this 27th through the 31st such a great great time of November the best the best five day window that I feel in in October so use that to your advantage don't overuse it look in advance get that that night or that morning set that you know you're going to use the wind's perfect the scrapes are active the trail camera's on and ready and it's showing you that there's that he's there and use this estrus for that 24 to 48 hour window to seal the deal if it doesn't work on that set the question that i had this week is then what do i do you say it's too much and you don't want to use it what I'm saying is use this in that 24 to 48 hour window, use that set. If it doesn't work, pull it. Don't use it any go more. Go back to your, go back to your normal, um, your, just your dough urine and, and your gel that we're using and go back to this and take that, make that illusion that that dough is gone elsewhere and, or something's happened. She's already been bred. He missed the opportunity. Then what you want to do is you want to look ahead. If you got another two or three days, maybe a week, 
ahead of time that you know you're going to be back in there and that's that perfect set's going to happen again where the wind's right the you know the, the pressure's high the winds has changed and it's it's a perfect set doctor 24 to 48 hours ahead of time again and and hopefully what that's causing is you're trying to make him get on his feet check that scrape where he only maybe was before checking it at night one time he knows that okay i checked it tonight it's a 24 hour window he's going to be back there checking it again the goal is you have to be there when he's there so i hope that helps that's a couple questions that we've had this week and the uh i'm you know i'm really excited going into this 27th uh, this 27th through the uh, 31st best five days of the of october that i feel and the weather i feel is is helpful this year so if you have any questions feel free to reach out and uh, comment below and uh, you know like share and subscribe i think this the power of the estrus we use like i said nature's best um estrus that's collected here pan collected by by hand not slotted floors no ma no manure in it and it's raw he knows it's estrus he knows it's clean with the other with the other uh, products and I strongly feel that if you use this tool, use that estrus as a tool, not overuse it or underuse it, it can be very, very successful in that 24 to 48 hour window. Thanks guys.